Hi, my name is Phoenix Chapatel and this is my Agnes Scott Marvin B. Perry Presidential Scholarship video. So Phoenix, how would you describe your leadership style? I think my leadership style can best be described as um, the role of the director. I try to, whenever I'm in a leadership position, make sure that everyone's voices and visions are heard. Um, and I think that collaboration and communication is key to success in any sort of team environment. Um, when I, I directed my school's production of Heather's Musical last year, and I realized that um, while I was working with, you know, the choreographer, the set designer, the actors, the technicians, I, I realized that it's not just um, about what I saw for the production. It wasn't just about like what I felt should be portrayed on stage. I had to find a way to combine everyone's visions to create what I felt like we were really all proud of at the end. Um, and I see this all the time when I'm working on films or when I've acted in plays. Um, even when I'm not like as a director, I recognize that working as a team and being able to kind of combine all of your different perspectives really makes um, whatever work you're trying to produce much stronger. So what would you describe as your leadership strengths? Um, I think I'm good at collaboration. I recognize that being in charge doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be the best, that you just have to be able to bring out the best in everyone. Um, so collaboration, I, I'm the oldest of four siblings, so I've definitely um, been taught collaboration since the very beginning. Um, I also think creativity is important and not just like in, in an artistic setting, you have to be able to like think on your feet, be quick and um, be resourceful. And I think creativity and resourcefulness definitely go together. Um, I also think I approach every project I, I tackle with integrity, um, especially like in, I am the managing editor for my school's newspaper and diligent and ethical and um, empathetic reporting is very important because a lot of times you're going in and you're asking people to share their stories with you and you need to be able to under like to establish a sense of trust in order to get to the truth in order to properly either write about the truth if I'm writing an article or um, if I'm doing a documentary being able to properly portray that truth on screen. Um, and also I am the president of the Youth Rebuilding New Orleans which is a nonprofit organization based here in New Orleans where we go in and we um, after hurricanes especially we go into neighborhoods that were um, very impacted by the storms and we rebuild the houses and then sell them to um, like nurses and teachers. And I think working with that organization has really taught me that, um, you know, working together is really important. And um, caring about your community is definitely an important part of leadership because it's not just about being in, able to be in a position where you make the decisions and you make the rules, but you have to care about something in order for your leadership to really make a difference. How would you want to improve upon your skills at Agnes Scott? Well, I'm really excited to take part in the Agnes Scott Summer Program. Um, especially, I know the first year on the Legacy Program, I really feel like I can hone my leadership skills and kind of channel that into activism. Um, I think a lot of what I've been working towards now is just figuring out how I, how I am as a leader and figuring out how to work with people and how to best um, get my vision out there. But I think at this point, now it's time for me to take that, take everything that I've learned and kind of make change with it. Um, and I think even so my sophomore year I see at Agnes Scott, I'd be able to like go in um, to Atlanta and work with nonprofit organizations as a, I'm planning on double majoring in political science and English literature. And I would love the opportunity to be able to work with like nonprofit political organizations to help like increase voter registration and um, reach out to marginalized communities to make sure that they know that they do have a voice in policy and they do have a voice in politics and in our nation. I feel like that's very important. I wanna be able to work with people and um, be empowered by the amazing community that is Agnes Scott and be able to work with all of these women, the, you know, the women of the future, the future leaders, to be able to make change in the society and to make our voices and everyone else's voices heard. Thank you so much for considering me for the scholarship and go Scotties.